Love that. All Thank right. you very much. Thank you. Our buddy Dave Grasshoff is taking a trip across the country showing off our brand new rover. So he's joining us with a look uh, at one of his stops this morning. Hi, Dave. We just came through Huber Heights. Huber, Huber Heights. Heights. How are Was you? it funny? Getting a lot of lookers. A lot of people really <laughs> like this vehicle. So, Bebe, hi. Huber Heights, Ohio is uh, where we are. Yep. And of course, uh, we started yesterday in Niagara Falls, made our way to the Cleveland area, went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and then shot across town. Cleveland's beautiful. We saw where the Browns play. We saw where the Cavaliers play. We saw where the Indians play and made our way to a Christmas house uh, where uh, it's Ralphie's house from A Christmas uh, Story. So mm -hmm. take a look inside uh, as we talk to one of the tour guides there. So though there would be a number of scenes filmed on the inside of the house, such as them delivering in the fragile crate or the dogs eating their turkey, uh, there are quite a few scenes filmed on the outside of the house in some fake snow, which you'll have to learn about by actually coming to the museum. And there would also be a huge portion of the movie actually filmed over at Higby's department store. The whole reason they came to Cleveland in the first place. Yeah. Of course, we have our lovely leg lamp right in the middle of the front of the house. The Christmas story house wouldn't even be here without it. It is such an important part of the movie. It's such an iconic piece and people come from all around the world just to buy the thing from the gift shop. So if, to a lot of people when they arrive at the Christmas story house, they wouldn't assume why do you want to film a Christmas movie here? And they initially didn't want to. This isn't why they came here. They were actually trying to find the steel mill because they wanted to film in it. Fortunately, none of those scenes would actually come to the screen, but when they were looking for it, they found this house that hadn't been updated since the 40s, and it was perfect. So they went with it. It's been so, like a really, really cool. Well, that's uh, at uh, West 11th Street and Rowley. Kind of in an older part, uh, what was your favorite part uh, of the Christmas story house? I think the decor. Yeah. And just how nostalgic it was. Yeah. And it was in a neighborhood where there were just houses next to it. Like, you know, at the end of the street is this house and you're living on the street. But the <laughs> decor and the furniture and just brought you back to that time. It was so cool. Yeah. And then we went right across the street. Uh, and ate at uh, Rowley, a little pub, um, a little pub that they have there right across the street from the Christmas house that was on diners, drive-ins, and dives. Oh, yeah, wow. So we had, that's where we had dinner, right across the street from the Christmas house. So it's kind Great. of a cool little area there in Cleveland. Very cool. There you go. Onward. Thanks, Cody, for all your suggestions to Indiana. All and right. We'll take you up on all of those. We will be back in about three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I sent you some good ones. I sent you some good ones. All right, we'll check back in with you guys. Have a good trip. And if you want to add to the suggestion list, you can do so via email. Uh, email them to us, good day at kmaxtv.com. Uh, you know, let us know where you suggest Dave goes. Uh, he says he's going to Indianapolis next, but mm -hmm. after that, he's headed to St. Louis. St. Louis. So, you know, add some oh, suggestions. What about the home of David Letterman? He's from Indianapolis, right? Uh, yes, yes he is. I almost suggested the grocery store where David worked as a bagger, uh -huh. but I think they tore it down. Oh, oh, I actually would like to see that, being a Letterman file. Yeah, I am. I'm pretty sure it's torn down. A letter file. Yeah, I'll look it up though. Okay. Drive safe, Dave. Bye. We'll see you on the other side of the break.